Have you ever considered that when God first created man, God loved man the best, man was the chief delight of God's heart, but man's sins offended God's righteousness and kept God from accepting man. Man clearly knows within himself that he has provoked God to wrath and has become abhorred by God. Men are not only apart from God and captive in Satan's hands, but also are oppressed. Today, how do you feel while you are living on this earth for your existence? Do you feel being oppressed from your physical burdens, such as the burdens of your family, in your business, in your career, the education of the students, and your physical sicknesses? In your current situation, aren't your heart dissatisfied, restless, uneasy, anxious, and happy and in bondage? Or you may have abundance in your living, good physical health, and your business, profession, or education may all be very smooth, but you still have psychological burdens and feeling of guilt in your conscience and are afraid of death, hell, and God's judgment. You may be afraid of God examining your living. These are burdens of the conscience. Thus, no one is free from oppression. However, the Lord's gracious words tell us that the oppressed may be set free. The Lord can free us because He has already been processed, consummated to be the compound spirit, the spirit of life, the spirit of God, the spirit of Christ, Christ Himself and the indwelling spirit in Romans 8-2, 9-11, refers to the compound spirit who gives life. He is such a compound spirit because all the elements are included here. His humanity, the spirit of God with divinity, the precious death of Christ, the sweetness and effectiveness of Christ's death, the precious resurrection of Christ, the repelling power of Christ's resurrection are mingled, blended together to become the holy ointment in Exodus 30, 23-25. And now, the process triune God is consummated to become the law of the Spirit of life with its capacity in freeing us from the law of sin and of death, solving all the problems of the human life. Romans 8 says that for the law of the Spirit of life has freed me in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and of death. The law of sin, the power to commit sin, that arises spontaneously in man, causes man to become a slave of sin. The law of death, the natural power, that causes man to become weak, to wither up and to age and die, dwells in man and causes every part of man to enter into decay and death. Now do you want to have such a freedom from oppression? Just open your heart and your spirit. Believe and receive Him as the triune God who has been processed to become such a spirit who gives life within you. The Lord said in Matthew 11:28, Come to me, all who toil and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Just simply come and contact the Lord as the Spirit. The simple way to contact the Lord is to call on His name. O Lord Jesus! O Lord Jesus! Then the Lord can free you from any physical burdens and psychological burdens. He can heal your sickness and bear the burden of all your weaknesses and sufferings. Much more, Christ can bear the burden of the punishment for sin and the burden of the conscience, so that men no longer need to be oppressed in the conscience. Many who were afraid of the punishment for sin and were afraid of hell had peace in their conscience as soon as they received the Lord. If you apply the Lord's death to your situation, it will reduce your pain, correct the wrong regressions, and eventually stimulate you and make you happy and joyful. This is the real freedom you need. This is the real blessing you have to receive. And this is the real rest.